Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about composite signals. A composite signal is made of many simple sine waves. A single frequency sine wave is not useful in data communications. We need to send a composite signal to communicate data. According to Fourier analysis, any composite signal is a combination of simple sine waves with different frequencies, amplitudes and phases. Now what happens, the composite signal can be periodic or non-periodic. So first we will study about periodic composite signal. A periodic composite signal can be decomposed into a series of simple sine waves with discrete frequencies. Now here you can see this example, right? Now we are considering an example. So in this uh, example, in this uh, figure, in this figure, you can see a periodic composite signal with frequency f, right? This figure shows a periodic composite signal with frequency f. Now there are hardware and software tools which can decompose this signal into a series of simple sine waves, right? Now here you can see now this figure, right? This figure, what this figure does, this figure shows the result of decomposing this signal in frequency domain. Here this axis represents the frequency, right? And here this axis represents the amplitude, right? So uh, this figure shows the result of decomposing this uh, composite signal in frequency domain, right? Now here uh, you can see that uh, this composite signal, right? This composite signal is decomposed in three simple sine waves. Right, this uh, uh, composite signal is decomposed in three simple sine waves with frequency f, 3f and 9f. Right, so in this case uh, you can see that in uh, uh, this uh, frequency uh, domain that uh, this uh, composite signal is decomposed into three simple sine waves with frequency f, 3f and 9f. Right, so uh, what happens? In this case, the amplitude of the sine wave with frequency f is almost the same as the peak amplitude of the composite signal. And the amplitude of the sine wave with frequency 3f is one third of this first one. Right? And the amplitude of the sine wave with frequency 9f is one ninth of this first one. Right? Now, here now here you can notice that the frequency decomposition of a signal is discrete, right? Here the frequencies are f, 3f and 9f. Since uh, f is an integer number, therefore 3f and 9f are also integer numbers. There are no frequencies such as 1.2f or 2.6f, right? Now we will study about non-periodic composite signal. So what happens, a non-periodic composite signal can be decomposed into a combination of an infinite number of simple sine waves with continuous frequencies, right? So let us consider a non-periodic composite signal, right? So what happens in time domain representation of uh, this uh, non-periodic uh, composite signal, what happens, there are infinite number of simple sine frequencies. Right, so what happens, uh, this uh, number of frequencies is, is infinite, but the range is limited. Here, in this uh, example, what happens, the range is between 0 and 4 kilohertz, right. So, what happens, uh, the frequency decomposition of the signal gives a continuous curve, right. Frequency decomposition of a non-periodic composite signal gives a continuous curve, right. So, uh, there are infinite number of frequencies between 0 to 4 kilohertz in this case, in this example, right? So, if we have to find the amplitude related to frequency f, then what we do, we will draw a vertical line at f to intersect the envelope curve, right? And the height of uh, this vertical line is the amplitude of the corresponding frequency f, right? So, what happens in a non-periodic composite uh, signal? Uh, this non-periodic composite signal, it is decomposed or we can say it can be decomposed into a combination of an infinite number of simple sine waves with continuous frequencies, right?
now we will study about bandwidth so what is this bandwidth the range of frequencies contained in a composite signal is its bandwidth right so what happens uh, what is the bandwidth the bandwidth of a composite signal is the difference between the highest and the lowest frequencies contained in that signal so here in this example here in this example uh, which we have considered what is the bandwidth bandwidth is 4 kilohertz right 